Today we'll become budget tourists and visit the most interesting free places in Poznan to get to know the unusual Polish city. It will be beautiful, atmospheric and in some places strange. So watch till the end. Let's start our walk from Stary Brovar. From here begins a beautiful street, Pulvejska, which heads toward the center of the old town. I like this street immediately because here you can already feel the atmosphere of Poznan, go to different stores, even just to see what is there, explore every house and observe people. Absolutely every old city has its spiritual places, and Poznan is no exception. Here you found a very beautiful church that we couldn't help but show you. It's a Catholic church with a megalon name that's impossible to remember, and it's beautiful both outside and inside. It also has a very cozy patio. It is the market square and everything would be fine if not for one little nuance. And all would be fine if only one street and only this square were dug up. But no, this is what about half of Poznan looks like and I'm not kidding. Still, if you close your ears and eyes and just look at these houses and not at what's below, it's basically not that bad. In fact, the houses are really quite beautiful, the town hall looks just amazing, I don't know, maybe I've just forgotten past all town, but I really like this square. And to me, those houses in the center of the square looks especially interesting and different from the old town of Gdańsk for sure. Well, and from Warsaw too. Now, of course, you're limited by space, you can't go to the center, but at least there are paths to individual restaurants and establishments. By the way, we shot this video quite some time ago and the market square has probably been restored by now, but there is still a lot of construction in the town itself. Two facts about Poznan market square. The first one is from Wikipedia. It is the third largest market square in Poland after Krakow and Wroclaw. And the second fact from us is not the most fun. When we were walking here for the first time, we stopped and looked at the houses and saw that a brick had fallen from one of them, almost on the people walking by. <sighs> It didn't look safe. But let's not talk about sad scenes. Let's just say we were unlucky. By the way, this is where the famous Poznan Goats hide on the town hall. Every day at 12 noon they appear to bump heads and celebrate the afternoon. It is believed that the Goats were first placed on the tower in 1551 and they have been a symbol of the city ever since. And now we are in a very significant and important part of Poznan where the history of the wall city began. We are on Tumski Island. The first settlements appeared here as early as in the 10th century. And in 968 the first cathedral was built, which bears the name of St. Peter and St. Paul. By the way, here it is. The church itself is very beautiful and is the main attraction of the whole island. The word tomb in Polish in the Middle Ages meant church or church congregation. So Tumski Island is an island with a church. And as it turns out, there is a similar island with the same name in another city in Poland, in Wroclaw. Also, Tumsk Island is very small, I liked it very much, even more than the old town, because it's quiet, cozy, few people, few cars, you can walk around, go to the church, and today we were really lucky with the weather, it was quiet, sunny and clear, this is pretty rare in Poland. Moving from Tumsk Island to Shrutka, another interesting neighborhood in Poznan, it is worth paying attention to Jordan Bridge. This is a pedestrian bicycle bridge where the Sibina River flows through. The bridge itself looks cool because of its color and the view 
videos from it, but we won't stay here for long. We have a few more interesting places ahead of us. Budget travelers have come to a new place. We present to your attention Mural Shrutka. It is a three-dimensional painting of a large apartment building, and it is called, attention, story of Shrutka with a trumpeter on the roof and a cat in the background. Yes, in Poznan they like long titles, as I've already realized, and the picture justifies it. Here is Shrutka, here is a trumpeter, and at the very top is the cat. The only scene is that the sun is already gone from here, so the house and the picture look faded, and the three-dimensionality doesn't work at 100%. But the idea is cool, and the picture itself is very nicely drawn. I think we're alike. This is the largest park in Poznan, its area is 100 hectares, therefore you can walk around it for a long time. There are several interesting areas and places on its territory, and the first of them is a kind of rose garden. The roses haven't blossomed yet, but the dog has managed to bark. There is a small pond, literally 5 cm deep, and around it there is a green space with benches where you can sit and listen to the birds, which are now singing incredibly beautifully. God, I'm so glad spring is coming. Okay, let's move on to the next location. Not far from the military museum, there is a very interesting, unique and its kind composition. It is called Unidentified and represents 112 iron figures walking in different directions without any purpose. Thus, these sculptures illustrate the position of man in the modern world. I interpret it this way. Often many people don't know their path and purpose and are constantly in search of themselves. So sometimes they can go in the wrong place, in the wrong direction, that's why people are standing here like this. Anyway, it's interesting, you can walk between the sculptures and get a little lost. So, what do you think of Poznan? Write your impressions in the comments and like this video if you had fun walking with me. And we'll see you very soon. Bye!